plus and I want to be an ISO or a cybersecurity analyst. What should I do to get better? And I need some hands on any suggestions. Yeah, I got a couple. So this is something I learned a few years ago and blew my mind. Um, there's a there's another if you're if you like certifications, if you're like me and, and use certifications as a great stepping stone to learn more. Uh, which I found, you know, is is very helpful. Like it's not for I don't get certs for the sake of getting certs. I'm not one of these paper tiger kind of guys. I get certs to know more. Like I want to go deeper. It's the certification itself. The little piece of paper they give you is just another thing for me to put on my resume to get more marketable, and that's great. But my main goal is to get the knowledge and get the information and get hands on with it. So another certification I would recommend to get better as a cybersecurity analyst. Let me tell you something. I'm about to change your I'm about to change your life like it changed my life. There's a couple. Let me I want to show you. So let me just get ready here. There's one I'm taking right now called the CH. You probably already know about that. But it's a pretty good certification uh marketable for, for marketable purposes. If you want to do you want to get in the cybersecurity analyst work, the ethical hacker cert is a very highly marketable certification. But there's a lot of hands-on stuff that you're going to have to do in order to know the tools that they that they that it mostly talks about. So here that's what I'm talking about with this. This is not in my opinion not the gold standard, but it's highly marketable. It's one of the most marketable money-making certs for a cybersecurity analyst. Like this is when you say analyst to me, you're talking about a, a person who's going to be like looking at data coming in and and then trying to interpret how this person hacked a certain system or figuring out what threats are going to have the possibly the biggest risk impact to a certain system and you're talking about okay we have a windows 2012 system that's in the dmz and it's missing this patch what kind of what kind of threats should we be worried about what kinds of patches do we need uh, what what happens is this, if the system goes down, things like that, right? That's a specialist type person, and so the security the the CEH is one of those certs that's gonna get you in the door. Once you put it on your resume, people are gonna be like, okay, this guy knows what hacking is, you know? <laughs> because the thing is, like, the people who hire us are not always. Some of them, like 50% of them, that the people you're going to talk to don't really know like really what's going on. So that's why CEH is such a big certification because it has it has hacking in the name. Not to say that it's bad. I'm not saying that it's a bad certification. I'm not saying that. It's a good certification. It's just not as good as what I'm about to show you. So there's a one thing that blew my mind. Let me get to that. Is something called, I'm sure you've heard of it, SANS courses. Everyone, I don't have a SANS certification, by the way. But everyone who I know, everyone who I know who has a SANS certification has been a badass. I'll just say it like that. Every person I know who has one. And I think it's because the way they train is like an open book. Now, I know that sounds counterintuitive. You're thinking, like, it, how can they be smart if it's an open book test? How can they be smart? Because the training that you go through to get the SANS courses is pretty fire. You, you have to know what is going on to do the test. I believe you have to go through their certification. Now I'm just talking, I'm, I don't know much about the certification. I just know, I can tell you this, in my experience, everyone who had one was pretty badass. They knew, they they know what they're doing. And I can't say the same about CEH or, or CISSP. But everyone who I've met who has this certification right here, GCIH or... Uh, I don't know too many people with G-Pen, but yeah, actually I do. Yeah, G-Pen is a good one. The ones that stand out to me for cybersecurity analyst work. Ah, I'm not seeing it on here. Let me see. There's another one that's really good. Any, like, a lot of these are good. Like, excuse me, these they have specializations. Like, this one right here is mostly for, like, this is the equivalent of, like, a... CEH, I believe, because it's, it's dealing with network penetration testing and ethical hacking. So this is equivalent of a CEH. But the way that they, like I said, the way they test is just different. 
the way this test is all done, the the idea behind it, the concept behind the way they do their test is just completely different than the CEH. And uh, I think CEH even had to do something to catch up with these guys. It's not cheap. Um, and I don't think it's easy. But you just have to, it forces you to be prepared. Let me put it to you that way. The, the SANS courses, from what I understand, they force you to be prepared. So if you, they force you to prepare to the point where it's, yeah, it's open book, but you had to prepare before you, before you took the test. Now, now you know all the knowledge, you know. So that, so I hope that answers your question. Um, but you have a CCNA, so that's pretty, that's, that's pretty high speed. Security Plus is a great certification. But if you want to level up, CEH, for a cybersecurity analyst, CEH, SANS courses, and I'm, I'm trying to think of the specific SANS courses, because SANS courses, there's a lot of them. Um, I'm trying to, it's either GCIH, which is Incident Handling, or GCIA, and I don't know which one, I, I, I'm not the person to ask to know which one, you'd have to read through it. And maybe ask somebody with one of those certifications. And then maybe GPIN. So I would recommend one of those to, to like level up in, in cybersecurity analyst work. The reason why I'm not saying, oh, get a CISSP. Because CISSP uh, is a very broad certification. It doesn't... I'll give you an example. The difference between like you haven't taken the Security Plus and the CCNA. Those are very different certification i've taken both of those you know and they're very very different if you go into the security plus you take the test you already knew the knowledge right you it, it's it's testing for stuff you already knew ccna is different <laughs> it's like you had to go through all kinds of preparation or maybe this is just me talking uh i had to go through all this preparation to take it so but and now it's practical, so you're actually on a keyboard, actually doing the actual work, right? So CCNA like has a once you take that test, like it absolutely verifies that you know a certain level of router switch certification um, configuration. Whereas Net Security Plus is pretty broad, so you can really just kind of study a book and then you're done. Where the CCNA, you kind of be, have to be hands on at some point. CISSP is like a, it's like a security plus times ten. Time times ten to the power of two. It's it's this it's even more broad. But at the end of it, like I don't feel like, I don't. There's no extra. It's just book knowledge, you know. It's just it's book knowledge, and then there's some kind of management level experience stuff there, and there's risk management framework. It's so broad that at the end of it, I'm kind of like, like, what do you, what does it prove that you know? Like, I know everything, you know. Like, <laughs> just I don't know. Security CCNA, like it, it is for sure. You absolutely know how to configure, how to save router configs. You know, it, absolutely how to connect the network to this router or this switch or this you know stuff like that so that's just my two cents